Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Uh, the other day I wanted to see if I could do a 46 chip, clone a 46 chip on this uh, VV, sorry, X Horse VVDI key tool. So to turn it on, one, two, three, there go, turns on. I'll just unlock my phone real quick and I'll turn the screensaver off because most likely it's going to keep turning off every two seconds. So there's a screensaver, settings. Uh, device, display, and timeout. Put on for 10 minutes. Okay, so to do uh, 46, the first thing you need to do is download the app, and I'll show you what the app looks like. So you go to uh, Google Play Store, and then you type in up the top uh, VVDI. Hopefully, you can see that okay there comes up with a little man wearing a, a white and orange hat so you just click on that and then you basically install it so that shouldn't be too hard that's quite easy uh, the next thing it's going to do is ask you to register now when I was registering it basically you put in your email address and then it will send you, you push send it'll send you a uh, code via email and you got about a 60 seconds or less for them to send it and put it all in it does work it you got to be fairly quick at it um, then after that it'll ask you to select your password now I did this a couple of times I selected my password and I had um, troubles it you know I selected my password then I tried to log in it just wouldn't work and one of the things I, I believe I was doing wrong was my password wasn't strong enough so when you do select your password pick an eight eight character password and throw in a few digits or maybe a couple of upper cases I did that on the second or third time round and it seemed to work uh, quite well so if if you don't do that you're gonna probably run into trouble like I did the next thing about it is I, I went I went around the web trying to find the people who make this X horse and trying to contact them all I could find was resellers um, you know reseller after reseller people who look like they are the genuine people actually manufacture it but they're not they're all resellers um, so to actually get through to the technical support for this particular type of tool I'll show you how to get to that because I found that quite hard now once I actually got the app working so I was trying to uh, contact them to say how come the app isn't working I've done it all um, and eventually I, I managed to work it out it was a password issue but once I did work it out and I went into the app um, I actually found where the, the tech support is okay and I'll if you can see them good if not I'll read them out to you technical support uh, Skype or email and you can do it through condor underscore key machine at hotmail um, Skype is X horse with a capital X minus support with a capital S and then two at the end and then email is Sam I C S A M I C at X H O R S E dot com um, Monday to Friday uh, looks like 9 to 12 1 to 1 to 5 30 so they have an hour's lunch break anyway that was hard very hard to find I went to some uh, resellers and they re absolutely refused two or three of them to give me any um, any tech support or the tech support number for these people who actually make this device I said how do you resell their products if you don't have an email address you can't contact them um, they just wouldn't give it to me so once I got the app going and I found it I thought it'd be good to put it out there okay so now we actually have to uh, sync between both of them so we'll go okay okay see if I can do this without any uh, any problems okay so C button this is set and we've got the Bluetooth on now I'm going to go to my phone. I need to enable Bluetooth. Most likely I've got it switched off. So I'm going to go settings. I'm using an Android device here. Settings. Um, Bluetooth. Okay. And we are looking for... Okay, so I believe it's down the bottom. VK... VKO... VK015. Okay, pairing rejected. Let's go down to Bluetooth enter so I turned it off enter turned it on uh, I'll turn this Bluetooth off now I'll turn it on again and we'll see if we can find it now it is on scan car kit and all these other things
and let's go back to the app and see if that's uh, going to help us so we've got no connection there also with the updates I tried to do the latest update and my machine failed it said system failure I actually had to reinstall the whole software again if you do see system failure don't panic just try and reinstall the software below the one that you're trying to install okay all right so we, we're not connected to the VV, to the tool yet um, the reason I wanted to do this all was because I was trying to copy uh, 48 now the thing is with this with this actual device once I get it going I'll show you what uh, kind of happens so Bluetooth let's go back to Bluetooth won't be a second scan I'm going to turn this off I did have troubles connecting a couple of times but eventually I was able to get it working one two three okay okay when you do connect um, you'll see the screen basically uh, becomes non-usable so anything under special functions no it wasn't clear set Bluetooth is on so I've got uh, software version 2.4.2 back okay my Bluetooth is on there so now it'll be a matter of actually finding it over here pairing rejected okay so I'm going to turn my Bluetooth off turn my Bluetooth on just doing a quick little scan might even go here and go Bluetooth off, enter, and then go Bluetooth on. So Bluetooth's definitely on. Might even turn the beep on. Now it makes a little beep. Okay, so it must be one of these devices down here. I got this device twice. Uh, pairing rejected. Okay, so we have a uh, it's asking for a pin here so let's try the four zeros okay uh, pairing unsuccessful so I have it listed twice here as VK000 uh, I'll read it VK01582150 or something your one will probably be different okay, I'm just trying the pin here and seeing if that's going to work Okay, so I tried one, two, three, four, and we're looking kind of good now. Up here, Bluetooth settings. Okay, so there, there it is. There, I went into the top left with a thing. Bluetooth settings. Bluetooth is on. Available devices. And it says there's basically the number we found before VK001 disconnected available devices so let's try it here all right let's try this another way turn on turn off connect to this one in the selected memory this one says disconnected now it's saying up oh, connected okay finally we're connected okay so you see here now what it's showing on the screen we're basically connected and also my icons now around this circle are available so remote rem, uh, remote program have a little look there we've got all the badges and things like that so that's it similar to what you well, same as what you can do there generate transponder okay so you're going by the brand um, transponder clone now this is the part that I actually wanted to do this is the whole point of the video now I bought this device and I read a lot of the instructions there and I was assuming that it could do uh, 46 and 48 I've done a 46 with it I haven't done a 48 with it uh, looking into it you do need internet connection to do a 48 not only do you need inter internet connection you need to use the right chip also it's going to take 10 minutes to calculate and if 
that isn't enough. The next problem is when you do try and do a 48 uh, device unmatched copy function. Basically, you have to pay $250 US to activate this function uh, for this particular tool and one of their other tools as well. So before you can start doing the 48 chip, uh, you've got to buy your machine, uh, activate it for 250 US, which is like 300 and something Australian, have the correct chip, um, then you can go into this copy function, then you can use the snoop function, put the key in the ignition, turn a few times, and um, away you go. Oh, sorry, 10 minute. I think 5 or 10 minutes. It has to actually calculate it online. Also, be aware that you need uh, internet access on your mobile phone because it's going to go through through to their server, do the calculation, come back to your phone, and then push it back to the machine to work out the data needed for the for the 48 chip. So how does how does this differ from other machines? Well, uh, looking at the RW4, it has the same functions. It uses a larger snoop type function, uh, but it still will need to be connected to the Silka uh, cloud to actually to do that. So the difference is here you could do it with these two devices. The Silka RW4, um, you're not actually paying for the calculation function as far as I know. And um, you do need to use their special chip as well. Uh, those chips are about 30 bucks. Uh, these chips here, I didn't price it actually, but you're probably talking, you know, 15 bucks I believe they are uh, for the chip. So it's much of a muchness. You could do this system, pay $15 per chip, pay the $250 activation fee, and also, sorry, I forgot to mention one very important thing, you have to buy tokens. I believe they're around about the $10 to $15 mark to do the 48 chip. So let's hypothetically say you're up for 20 bucks for a chip, $10 for a token, $250 uh, activation, $250 to buy the machine, we're talking US, and then you've got a 10 minute wait. As with the Silka, look, four grand for the, um, for the whole kit, for the with the snoops and all the rest uh, you don't have to pay the activation you don't have to pay the tokens uh, but you do have to pay the probably the $30 chip so that's a little bit about it and that's just showing the connection on it and the, the rest of the features are all basically there renewed remote and all the rest okay thanks for watching